Hey guys, just jumping back on to show you a couple more um, items that I brought with me and a couple of new prints and products. So this is the window shopper. Um, I'm not sure what type of purse you like. If you like the bigger purses or cross bodies or just kind of grab it and put it over your arm and go type of purse. This is one of my favorites. I have it in a couple different colors. Um, I think I have it in the blue slate, uh, which is another one. It's a nice canvas design. And then this is going to be your caramel distressed. So this is one of my favorites I've been wanting for a while. Finally just broke down and got it. <laughs> I love it. So it has a nice little cell phone pocket. You drop your cell phone in it. You're not digging around in your purse looking for it. Um, I do have my Norwex Opticloth, but you can simply clip any of your keys right to the D rings and then you're not digging around in your purse for items. It has a, a zipper pocket and it's more like a, kind of like a big bucket type tote. Um, it is a gorgeous leather design. You have a nice front pocket that you can easily monogram with any of your initials or any other really pretty um, embroideries that we have. And again, that is going to be your window shopper. With that, I have the casual crossbody tote. This thing is enormous. So with the window shopper, it has a nice hard structured bottom to it. So when it's full of any of your junk, as I always say, because I pretty much take the kitchen sink, it easily sits up on the ground and doesn't tip over. The casual crossbody, however, is a really soft material. Um, this was our winter print. We currently have it in sunflower and maple, I think. Um, so it's just a really pretty crossbody to go. It is enormous. <laughs> I'm not joking on how much you can actually fit inside this thing. It's huge. Um, it's just a really nice kind of like boho bag. When you are done with it, I like to just simply fold it up and store it away. So it's such a soft material that, you know, if you have the summer prints or you have the winter prints, you can just kind of fold it up, store it away until you decide to use it again. So it doesn't take up a ton of room, it's super soft. The next one I have is our new backpack. So this is our day away backpack. Um, we have the journey backpack as well. Uh, this is a step up, so it's a slight bit bigger than the Journey backpack, which I like. I travel a lot and I always take my laptop, and like I said before, I have a huge laptop. The Journey just wouldn't zip. It's a 17-inch laptop and it wouldn't zip over the top of it. This one, however, does. Even if you're not using that much room, you can simply just snap it down and make it a little smaller, which is super nice. Something I love about them. A couple of our um, thermals and totes snap down just so it's not taking up quite as much room. So you have a nice front pocket to it. Any of your side pockets, stick your water bottle if you go hiking or backpacking or amusement parks, anything like that that's got tons of room for it. Inside we have a large pocket. The Journey backpack does have a thermal pocket inside. They opted not to do it with this one. Um, not really sure why I like either one. They both work really well and it's super deep inside of it. They did go back to the really nice, I know it sounds crazy to say really nice plastic um, straps. So the Journey backpack has like a metal strap and it just doesn't cinch well. And I don't know about you, but I can't stand it when my backpacks are like down below my butt and I can't just snitch it or cinch it tight, sorry. <laughs> Um, so this is really nice that they went back to this. Just makes things a lot easier. Um, this is gonna be one of our gray color blocks. It, it looks coral, but it's kind of more like a rust color. So it's a nice two-tone gray with a coral piping on it. Um, the next one I brought, oh, that was another thing. I always forget this and it's like one of the best features. You can slip like your car keys and your cell phone right in here and then you don't lose them. So you can just have easily access to them, zip it up and be on the go. It's definitely one of my favorite backpacks. I know some people are sold on the journey just because it's a little fancier and prettier. This one is going to be like, I don't know which word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, so this is, is definitely gonna be a little heavier duty and it's gonna last you a long time and you can really put it through 
a lot of stuff. The next one I brought with me is the new basket weave. So this is going to be your Ruby Mini. They're beautiful. You can use them as wallets. You can use them as makeup bags, gift bags, anything like that. I plan to use it as a wallet. I do love the All About the Benjamin wallet, um, but this one's just pretty. So I did it in the Atlantic Blue floral circle with my initial. I did the matching wristlet to go with it. It does have a camel um, piping instead of caramel, so it's a little lighter color. But as you can see, that's the basket weave print. Um, some people were kind of on the fence with it because it's not as soft and supple as our other uh, Ruby Minis are. But, I mean, that's what do you expect? It's a heavy-duty basket weave. But this is nice and wipeable, which I really like because it's white and you don't want to get it too dirty and it's just easily to wipe clean. So I think that's all I have at this moment and I'll pop back on later. Thanks. See ya.